Hi, I'm Phil from Woodsmith here with a track saw tip on how you can use your track saw when you're working with large pieces of solid wood. Track saws are great for plywood and cutting parts to size, but here I'm showing you the inside story on one of my gift projects that I'm working on. It's for my sister, so shh. What I have is a large piece of walnut that I got and I did some carving along the face of it. So I have this textured profile going on here to contrast with some smooth sanded surfaces. So I'm going and playing with that rough and smooth look here. Now what I want to do is clean up the ends and side of this slab from the tree. Now when this was cut out, it was just a chainsaw cut along the bottom edge and along the top. And I want to, again, play with that rough and smooth here. So I have the rough of the bark edges, and I want to get a nice, clean, smooth edge here. Perfect situation for the track saw. I've laid out a line with a white colored pencil just to show where I want to make the cut. And that means I can just bring my track right in place, set it on the line, and I know exactly where it's going to cut. The only thing you have to do now is make sure you set the depth stop on your saw so that it's going to cut all the way through the material. Then just fire up the saw, plunge it down, and make a smooth, steady pass through your material to get that clean edge that I'm looking for. Making through straight cuts are the perfect opportunity to use a track saw, but I have one more cut left to make on my sign here, and that, that's this diagonal cut along the edge. Now what I want to do is, like before, make a nice smooth transition here, but I don't want to cut into the bark on this far side. So the solution is to use the track saw, but to make a stop cut this time. I'm going to line up the track right with my layout lines, and you notice before, when I'm making these cuts, the Grip Max material on the bottom side of the track holds it in place without clamps. And that's a big plus when you're working with unusual shaped and sized pieces like these large hardwood slabs. Now when I make this stopped cut, it's going to start just like before. Turn on the saw, plunge it down, and make my way to the other end. Once I see that I've completed the cut where I need to here, I can turn off the saw, retract the blade back into it, and still preserve that nice transition between the smooth and the rough. The Craig Track Saw is a proven, versatile tool in our shop, and you can see how we've put it to use in working with large slabs of solid wood. And I hope you can find new uses for your track saw in your own shop.